I'm about to do something that I haven't done in quite a while. I'm about to drive over to Overlook Park and we're going to do some metal detecting. Today is just a fun, relaxing dive in one of my favorite spots, but I'll be keeping my eyes open for any jewelry that may be made of gold or silver. I'll be making the trek from my home base in Austin, Texas, south across the Devil's Backbone, all the way to Canyon Lake near New Braunfels. The first thing that I noticed when I got here is that there's almost no wind. The water looks like glass, and that usually means that the visibility is going to be really good. As far as backyard diving is concerned, this has always been one of my favorite spots. We're looking at an almost vertical limestone wall that has a healthy amount of vegetation and wildlife. And of course, let's not forget all the valuables that may have been dropped by those who are jumping from the rocks above. This is obviously trash, but where you're finding trash, you're also going to find exactly what we're looking for. We're going to follow along underneath this limestone ledge where everybody hangs out at on the surface. We're going to focus on these rock outcroppings that almost form a natural diving board. Everything that's dropped should sit on these limestone cracks below. Anything from apple watches, wedding bands, jewelry, even chains. Bottle caps may be frustrating, but it means you're on the right track. It definitely means that you're in a spot where people are dropping stuff. Save all coins I find because you never know how old they are. Some of them can be made of 90% silver. <laughs> Looks like two snakes that have diamonds where the eyes are. Pretty cool find, but I wonder if it's real.
running low on air, so it's about time to wrap up this dive. Two rings in one dive is not a bad day at all. Now I need to take all my heavy dive gear back up this really steep hillside and make that long walk back to the parking lot. Let's get cleaned up, get into town, and figure out what these rings are worth. So now that we got the dive wrapped up, I want to see if these are worth anything. There is a jeweler down the street, and personally I have my doubts. But let's take him in, see what he says. There are some diamonds on the snake ring. They're probably fake. I don't think that you would put real diamonds on anything that's gold plated. And this wedding band, I have higher hopes for. But I think it's also maybe just uh, gold plated silver. Now unfortunately they don't allow cameras inside of this store so I can't take you with me. But we're pulling up right now so wish me luck. So just as I thought, they're not real, but maybe better luck next time. Even though the rings were fake, I still had an amazing time making this video. As always, thank you for sticking around this long. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.